Remembrance Day, Veterans Day, Armistice Day. On the 11th hour, oh sorry, 11th day, 11th hour of the 11th month, we all sit and take a, two minutes of silence and remember. This year seemed to be a little more difficult for me. I did lose friends in Afghanistan. Um, and yeah. So what I decided to do was do a build like I might do some years. But I picked one soldier. And I did a little research on him. And then I built a model. I am going to read you an article. Or a part of an article. Because the whole article is pretty long. But it was uh, the one that was put out from uh, the writer is a Master Corporal Laurie Ann White, Department of National Defense. This is the article that she wrote. And I think it really sums it up. As the sun rose to the mournful skirl of the bagpipes, Trooper Michael Yuki Yakaza was given a solemn farewell by about 3,000 fellow soldiers at a grim memorial today in Afghanistan. Hayakaza died Sunday when the vehicle he w was in was struck by an improvised mine on a road about 45 kilometers west of the Canadian base in Kandahar. He was part of the convoy bringing supplies forward to an Afghan army unit working with the Canadians. The 25-year-old trooper from Edmonton-based Lord Strathcona Horse, Royal Canadians, was scheduled to return to Canada in a few days with the last of his unit, which would soon complete its tour in Afghanistan. Hayakaza was the 79th Canadian soldier to die in, in the fight with the Taliban and Al-Qaeda since the troops arrived early 2002. Michael was one of those people who was happy, the sun always shone in his world, said Captain Vincent Kirkston, of the Strathcona's second in command. If you had a trooper with issues, you put him with Michael, and they both come out smiling. So, to Michael, and to the Lord Strathcona horse. By the way, my grandfather was a Strathcona horse back in the First World War. This is, this is for you guys. This is a Leopard 2A4M, and I'm sorry it doesn't have the uh, insulation on it, but it didn't come with it. <laughs> and I'm not sure if you can even get it anymore, the uh, resin kits. But the fact that I said resin kits puts you into what level that would be. I will put pictures up here at the end, and to all those that served, and all those that haven't come home, Thank you.